Welcome to Hanson Live. I'm Jeff Richards. In our days of live, we find out about UFO sightings. We see them every day in newspapers, and we are almost a part of them, even if we weren't touched in one way or another by an alien. Today, we do have someone that was touched by an alien. We have someone that was abducted, in fact, by an alien. Travis Moulton joins us today. Travis, what happened to you? Well, a lot of it's sort of blurry, Jeff. It's uh, a real traumatic experience for me, I'm trying to remember what happened. Um, <clears throat> well, I was out in this field about uh, three miles from where I live, and um, I heard this sound and looked up and saw this giant craft hovering above me and mm -hmm. terrified me and kind of a timid man you might know. And, um, I just ran behind a bush and and hid as this giant ship landed mm -hmm. in this uh, pasture. And uh, next thing I know, this uh, creature came out of this this uh, catwalk type thing came out of the craft and emerged this uh, strange creature. And what did they do to you at well, first? <clears throat> at first, um, I just remember a. A really bright light shining, and uh, and uh, next, did, hmm. did they hurt you? Well, let me finish what happened oh, per se. Um, next thing you know, I know that they take me inside the ship, and uh, they put me on this table, and uh, <clears throat> took some some sort of material that I'd never seen before, it was like fruit roll sort of, and they covered me, and I was naked, uh -huh. and. Uh, I, did I, you feel free when you were uncovered? Or well, did you feel like you were captured? I felt very detained, just being incarcerated inside this spaceship. Mm -hmm. felt very uncomfortable. Um, they shaved my entire body. They, um, this one creature resembling Miss Jane Hathaway, she gave me a bikini wax. Ooh. Yeah. Now, what'd they look like? What'd these guys look like? Very tall and very tall and, and thin, similar to a couple of your cameramen here, mm -hmm. Jeff. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, they had very plain facial features and the giant, uh, <coughs> giant bug eyes that you've heard about. Mm -hmm. um, very black eyes, no, no iris at all to it, just a giant pupil. Um, and. Uh, they weren't very friendly, Jeff. So th did they hurt you? Yes, they did. What did they do to you? Well, while I was strapped down to this table, this mechanical machine came down. I guess it was sort of a computerized surgeon, and, and it came down and probed uh, my body. And was it a tingling sensation? Yeah, it was very uncomfortable. It's a, you've heard of Roto-Rooter, right? Oh, yes. Well, there you go. Ouch. That yeah. sounds like uh, quite an ordeal that you were under. Yes. It's a very nasty memory that I've been trying to keep locked up inside of me until now when I have someone like you pressing me for questions. <laughs> well, I... I that's, that's not funny. I'm sorry. Shut up. You laugh again I'm walking off. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I, you know, when something like this happens to America and when we find ourselves... Uh, in it, I don't know. I, I sort of lose myself for <clears throat> a moment or two. I'm, I'm really sorry, Travis. Travis, you're a man that has uh, come forth <clears throat> and has told your story quite wonderfully today. Um, you have more to tell. And you also have a, uh, a clip that is a reenactment, in fact, of what happened that uh, cold and muggy day three this years is true. ago. Yeah. We'll take, take commercial break in a moment. We'll be back with Travis and his story. Stay tuned, folks.